Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. We are here with some very exciting news. We have in front of us some super cool AKM rifles that we're gonna talk about today. These are built in the US off of Russian parts and they are made from original Tula AKM parts kits. So extremely exciting. I can hardly contain my enthusiasm right now about this because I'm a huge Tula fan. So very, very exciting about this. The really cool thing about these is the amount of time and effort that the team at Atlantic Arms Manufacturing put into putting these rifles together and making them period correct. When I say period correct, I mean these rifles are made off of the kits, their original kits, only swapped out parts as they were needed for service parts or what have you. So all the little idiosyncrasies or small little things that change from year to year, you'll see in the kit or represented in the complete firearm that was assembled by the Atlantic Arms team. So really cool in that aspect there. With that being said as well, there's no guarantee on what year you would receive. Um, basically everything is going to be um, sent out as the same thing as, an a, as a Tula AKM. And it could be anywhere in the date range between 1959 or 1960 all the way up to 1977 as far as the year of production of the kit. So. A lot of really cool, neat features about these. The Tula rifles were some of the first AKM rifles when the Soviets transitioned from the AK-47 to the AKM pattern. Uh, Ishvesh and Tula both started working on those in 1959, and you began to see more of the Tula stuff in 1960 and such. Um, so we're gonna take a look at some of these in a little bit more detail. So I've got here, in front of me one example that's one year and this other rifle that is just in front of me as well is also a different year so we have one 1961 and one 1971 here so there's 10 years between these two as far as the original parts go now these are built on a u.s children's receiver that has the correct markings you can see these are cyrillic alphabet that is the correct selector markings for this type of receiver. Um, so that's really nice. These also all do come with a brand new US black pistol grip on those. So that's a US compliant part. Um, and there, there will be, of course, other grips and, and things of that nature there too. So let's start talking about some of the different details with these guns. You can see, first off, we'll start at the tail end and you can see these stocks. The stocks are different slightly in the amount of detail as far as shaping goes on the stock as well as color. You can see this is a more of a brown color where this is more of an orange color. You can also see the difference in the laminates. Again, this is a 1971, this is a 61. You'll see the sling loop on the bottom of the buttstock. This sling loop is on the left-hand side of this buttstock on the 71. Coming up to the receiver, well, let's look at the selector and the top cover interface here. You can see this top cover on the 71 has a bulge to it or a flare. Also, the selector is flat here and the way that it mates up as well as the bolt carrier on this has a lightning cut. You can see this is a lightened bolt carrier. It's a typical AKM pattern bolt carrier. Now, let's drop down to the 61 and you can see some differences here. You can see that there is no flare on this top cover and that this selector has a little bit more of a curved pad for you to engage you know your your working finger as well as the bolt carrier is not lightened this is the ak-47 style bolt carrier not the akm pattern bolt carrier so i think that that's really interesting to be able to see some of these small nuances so these are some of the things we're seeing here in the receiver area as you move forward a little bit more we're seeing the same difference that we saw on the back with the butt stocks with the hand guards this hand guard is more refined as far as chiseled out shapes and such. The palm swell is extremely defined. The color is different. There are some proof marks on here and there's some gouging and things like that on the butt stocks. These are old kits. So the furniture will have some of this kind of wear and stuff in it. That's, that's normal. Down here on the 61, again, more like a darker brown color, less pronounced palm swell. Still can find some proof marks on those as well. So Really cool to see some of the differences there. With the handguard cap, that's another difference. Um, the handguard cap on this 71, it's easier to see here. 
this is rounded, this is a casting that's machined versus what we'll have on the 61 is actually machined all the way. You can see the tool marks where it was cut for the sling loop. So that's pretty neat. I'll flip these back over real quick and go down to the bayonet lugs, or not the bayonet lug, but the gas block. You can really see the difference in the gas blocks at the bayonet lug area. This is the 71 kit where it is not a flat uh, gas block. It is a machined gas block. Tola later in time changed to a cast gas block later down the road. This is also a machined gas block, but it has a flat bottom. So that's a little bit different. Um, also on the 61, the back of the, the front sight has no lightning cut in it at all. It's just flat. Where the 71 has lightning cuts in it. And I'm just using these two years as, as examples to show some of the differences. There's tons of differences if you really get into this stuff. Lots of really cool um, information that you can find out and about online about some of these different original parts and the markings and such. You can see here on the trunnions, you see this 71's got a ton of proof marks around the barrel pin. And the 61 has far less proof marks around the barrel pin. But you can see these are you know, mo their main parts matching. Many of them will have many other parts matching in them as well. You can see the carrier matching the trunnion on both of these. You can also see a proof mark here on the back of the bolt carrier on the 61. So pretty cool stuff. One last thing I'll show you with these before closing them up is the difference in the rear trunnions. This is what's called a donut trunnion or loosely referred to as a donut style trunnion because it has a circle in it and this is from the 1971 style where the older rifles had what was called a wasp waist or referred to as a wasp waist trunnion then the even later models like in the late 70s or mid to late 70s came where they used essentially the same trunnion they call it a forked trunnion that the ak-74 used um, Tula wasn't making as many AKMs after 1974 because they began to make the AK-74 at that point in time, and they were handling the majority of the production of that product. So Ishvesh made more of those um, AKM rifles from that time forward. So really, really neat rifles, super cool, lot of neat stuff as far as collectability goes and different little things with them. These have a Polish cold hammer forged barrel in them as well, which is a very nice barrel. They're radon barrels. They've been threaded 14-1 at the end. They've got all their compliance parts with them, so they're all good 922R wise. They're definitely not inexpensive, but they're worth the, the money for sure. These things are only going up in price um, as collectibles become more and more difficult to acquire. Obviously, that increases the value of that collectible. So definitely something to check out. Please let us know what you think about these things. A lot of pride and hard work into these items. And let us know in the comment section Give us some info, salesatlanticfirearms.com. Drop us a line down in some of the social media links that will be down below for all the different social media platforms that we're on. Definitely check out some of the related products as well to these items to find some other support stuff. Uh, in the future, there should be some different muzzle devices and pistol grips and things like that available as well to complement that. So definitely check those things out. They won't be available right away, but they will be coming in the near future. Thanks again for tuning in. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the channel. All right, everybody got some time. Tip this thing down to the range here with the Tula from Atlantic Arms Manufacturing. They've got plenty of love put into this thing. Sweet, no scope rail on the side, just like the old original would be. Left side scope rail, not present. Just beautiful, clean side. This gun's period correct. Talked a lot about it in the video. Definitely check out that stuff. And let's have a little bit of fun with this one. This is going to be one that Atlantic's holding on to. So let's have some fun. Great running gun. Nice radon barrel in there. Childers receiver. Awesome Russian parts. Definitely got to check that thing out.